Do you want a simple list of tasks that you need to do to get your pages ranking higher? You know, you could do this manually on your own, but there are two tools that will give you an SEO audit with ideas on what to do to improve the ranks of your pages. I will be testing Surfer's audit tool and SEMrush's on-page SEO checker tool to see which one is better. At the end of the video, I will give you my opinions on both and tell you which you should choose. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so let's just say we want to do an SEO audit on this, uh, this page right here. It's titled 16 Lavender Essential Oil Benefits and Uses. And what I will be doing is doing an audit in Surfer of that page in uh, SEMrush and also putting all of the information in terms of what we need to adjust in this on-page optimization spreadsheet. And I will include a link in the description so you can download this to use as well. So let's say, you know, we have this page and we want to rank for lavender essential oil benefits. That's the core the main keyword that we want to rank for, all right? So on Surfer, if you click on their audit, you will be greeted with this. And so their audit will allow you to optimize your existing pages based on data from top performing pages. So all you need to do is enter one or more keywords separated by new lines, enter the URL of the page you like to audit, choose your country, select mobile or desktop. I recommend mobile because uh, Google does crawl using the mobile mobile crawlers. And then you can also select NLP, natural language processing, and also select NLP entities with sentiment. So what's NLP entities? It's enrich true density with phrases from Google NLP API and get even twice as many suggestions for terms to include. The NLP entities with sentiment is find out if a given entity on the true density report appears in a positive, neutral, or negative context. And then you could choose between, you know, different uh, NLP providers. Now, keep in mind that this audit will uh, take one credit and two NLP credits if you decide to do it and you click, click on run audit. And under audit history, it will be listed here. So I already have it. So if you click onto it, so this is lavender essential oil benefits, which is my main target keyword, the link to the page, and you can refresh it. So if you make changes, you could refresh it to have surfer recrawl. You can select competitors. You can mark it as done and uh, you can share it uh, with others in your team. So right off the bat, it gives you tons of different uh, things that you can improve upon depending on the competitors, right? So if you click on competitors, you will be able to select which ones you want to uh, kind of, you know, check against, right? So since we want to improve the content, we want to select sites with a high content score. Okay, so all of this looks to be good. So you click on let's go. And also you can see the content score, the authority and the words. And you click on let's go. So the overall content score, it says you can improve content score by at least 12 for the best results. Our content score is a 56. So if you click on show details, you could see, you know, the other competitors, what their content score is. So we are pretty close, you know, we do have room for improvement, but it's not really too bad. And then missing common backlinks. So these are all of the missing common backlinks that we should be getting uh, backlinks from. Internal links. Now this is a brand new feature that was just launched a few weeks ago. So this is where you can add internal links pointing to the audited URL from relevant pages listed below. So we have seven internal link opportunities found for this URL. We detect topically relevant pages that you can use as internal links sources to boost audited page. 
So according to Surfer, we need to add internal links pointing to the audited URL from these pages below. Right now we have these, but it looks like we do need to add internal links to these pages. This is absolutely a huge gold mine. I don't think I know of another tool that I've used that gives you this internal links uh, feature. So this is a really, really great way to improve the internal linking structure of your site. Terms to use. Review the list of important terms and apply presented suggestions if it makes sense. So 461 out of 570 important terms require your attention. Wow, so a lot of terms that I need to add. So, and then you could export this, right? Because I'm not going to go over 500 on this site. I'll definitely export it. But you see some have NLP. So NLP is the natural language processing, uh, which is very unique to Surfer. So term essential oil, I mentioned it three times. Uh, suggested is 19 to 43, so it's all good. This one is an issue, health benefits. So this is an NLP suggestion. I use it zero times, but you need to use it between two to five times. And here are examples, right? So you don't need to spend too much time figuring out how to add these keywords in because Surfer gives you examples. Very, very easy. Very, very useful. And word count. So I need to add, this is kind of vague. It says add 108 to 2000. <laughs> so that's, um, you know, I'm pretty good here in terms of content, so I probably wouldn't focus too much on increasing the content, maybe just a little bit. Add four to 200 words in the H2 to H6. How many um, words and paragraphs? Consider removing words from bolded key. So I've been bolding a lot, so I should probably reduce my bolding and exact keywords no action required. Consider removing one to three exact keywords from the body, right? So I love these bar charts. You could see how you compare with the rest of your competition. Partial keywords, no action required. I look pretty good here. Compared pages have zero to 30 partial keywords, 13 on average. Okay, so this I looks pretty good here. And page structure, consider reducing the number of H1 elements. Oops, this is a big one. I have two H1 elements, but all of my competitors have one. And title and meta description, you could see the overall length of the titles, the overall lengths of the meta description. For first time to first bite, so speed issues, this is a big issue. We got to figure out how to reduce that because that's not good. And load time is not good either, right? So when you uh, make these changes, you can click on refresh and, you know, share it. So you can also share this with other people, with your clients and things like that. So this is how the audit tool works on Surfer. Now for SEMrush. So, oh yeah, also, so say for example, I also want to show you how to use this on page optimizations uh, sheet. So we have the page title or the URL, the target keyword, the, public in, the publication date, adjustment type. So there's various adjustment types here. So say for example, we need to add uh, prominent terms. That's something that we might need. So let's go to terms to use. So let's just say, okay, we need to add lavender, oil or actually no health benefits we need to add health benefits two to five times so details add health benefits two to five times on the page adjustment date let's just you know pick any date here and check update i like to check it up two weeks later so let's just say you know may may 1st 2021 results so on the check update 
you will look in your analytics, in your Google Search Console, and see if you improve position, no change, or decreased. Say, for example, we did add these prominent terms and the position did improve. Great, so it improved from number 15 or 14 to number number 10. Great, right? So this is a great spreadsheet to use for any type of optimization for your clients, for your own sites, just to make sure you have a list of history, right? Because sometimes when you do SEO optimizations on a site, you know, you, you never really remember, honestly, like with my clients, I do use a spreadsheet like this just to track what I'm doing so I can report on it and then check back to see what's working and what's not working. Now, let's go to SEMrush. So under the SEO tool, they have their on-page and technical SEO. So they have their on-page SEO checker. Okay, so you need to add your website to the SEO checker and it will basically crawl your entire site and it'll give you a, you know the total ideas like in terms of strategy ideas backlink ideas technical ux serp semantic this all of this information and our ideas may help you increase your organic traffic by over 1000 so huge potential and um, you can connect Google Analytics. And these are the top pages to optimize. So let's go to this one here, the lavender oil benefits and uses because that's what we are focusing on. So you click on two ideas. And I did connect my Google Search Console and Analytics. And according to SEMrush, we have two ideas that we should be focusing on. So let's start off here for strategy. So based on our analysis of your landing pages, we provided you with information on whether any of your website pages already rank higher for specific keywords so that you can decide which of your pages might be the best fit for your target keywords. So there's no keyword cannibalization. SEO strategy needs no improvements. SERP features, we're good here. Content, it looks like we're good here. So according to SEMrush, there is no keyword stuffing in the H1 tag, but according to Surfer, we have two H1s, which is not good, but Surfer did, or SEMrush did not, did not flag that, you know? Uh, so according to SEMrush, the content is good. Uh, semantic, so these are more about using other keywords to enrich your page content. So compared to your rival, rivals, some related words are not present in your page's content. Try to enrich your page's content with the following semantically related words. So these are really, really good. Uh, see, de so difficulty, okay. So difficulty is pretty easy. So if you click on see detailed analysis, you'll go a little bit deeper. So these are all of the words and phrases I need to be using. It tells me whether or not I'm already using them. Rivals using this word, word phrase usage, and how many times I'm using it, the rivals average and the max. So I need to be adding all of these here. So skin irritation. So it says I need to add skin irritation. Let's see if, yep, there we go. Skin irritation, zero. Suggested one to two, one to two for surfer in SEMrush, three. So pretty good, pretty good. So uh, let's see, uh, bottle of lavender. Let's see if bottle of lavender is here. Bottle, no, bottle, spray bottle. Uh, let's see, I know this is a long list. I'm not sure if my my search will find it, but no. So some keywords are similar while others are not. So let's, yeah, so this is semantic. So these are optimization ideas. So you see this tab here? So keyword usage. So these are the word usage. It looks like, let's see, this metric indicates how often a given word appears on your page. So I think this means I'm, 
using it too much, I believe. Essent lavender essential oil benefits. Rivals, they didn't mention it. They didn't mention it on their body. So it looks like I might need to change or remove this keyword. And so the semantic keywords here, backlinks. So these are all the backlinks that I need to be getting. Content length. So me is almost a thousand, but my rivals is a little over a thousand. So I'm okay there. Video usage. Looks like no one is using video. So one thing that you will notice is that the NA, that basically means the site is preventing SEMrush from crawling these pages. So SEMrush doesn't have data on these pages. And readability. So my readability is not too bad. Readability level 0 is hard, 100 is easy. So I'm actually the easiest article to read. Okay, so and let's go back to page ideas and backlinks i do need op opportunity to improve there technical issues no technical issues and user experience i need to connect and yeah that's essentially it so this is the information that i need to focus on for improving this page and top 10 benchmarking so these are all of the, the keywords and the content length. So these are other areas where I can improve my, my website, not just that page that I looked at, but the whole site as a whole, right? So you have all of these pages here. So comparing these two, what's my, what is my opinion? Which one do I prefer? I like how with SEMrush, you can look at all of the pages in that you have on your site and you can prioritize the ones that are most important, right? So if you work in-house, if you have a client and they ask you, hey, which ones, which pages on my site should I be focusing on? Well, all you do is spend a couple of seconds here, pull this report and tell your client and say, hey, these are the pages that we should be focusing on first. These are the quick wins that we can improve, right? These are the keywords, the ideas, so on and so forth. In terms of the actual optimization, I like how this is a little bit more holistic in terms of technical, semantic backlinks. It's a little bit more holistic, but on the surfer side, there is just a lot, a lot of additional information that I am missing from the SEMrush side. Okay, so internal links, this is a huge goldmine terms to use. I have a lot of work in terms of the key, the terms I need to use, you know, the exact keywords, partial keywords, page structure, you know, there's just a lot more data for me to look at with Surfer. So if you were to ask me which one should I choose, it's a little bit hard. Um, I think both are good. From an on-page perspective, I recommend Surfer. For more of a holistic overview of things, I recommend SEMrush. I recommend SEMrush for more of a holistic view more of a strategic view, maybe. Uh, for on-page, definitely Surfer takes the cake by far. There's just a lot more information there. Um, so, I mean, if you want to just primarily focus on on-page, go with Surfer. If you want something that's a little bit more holistic, go with SEMrush. Um, but you can get two of the, you know, subscribe to two. I'm subscribed to two and it's so helpful. So hopefully you thought this was helpful. Um, with that said, I will see you on the next video.